The Bay Area's rock station. 1077 The Bone. Like when you help out like Zombie and, and Corn and fill in for other drummers, 
Yeah, it's always a, an, an experience for me because I like to play different styles of music and I like to play with other musicians. I mean, that's how you learn the most, you know, and uh, I've, I've been fortunate enough to play with uh, some amazing artists and, you know, all the bands that I've, I've played with, you know. Um, I've been, I've, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of them. I'm not just doing it, you know, because of a money thing or anything like that. I, would, I don't do anything that my heart's not completely into 100%. So when you start producing, um, I mean, obviously you've been doing some producing with Slipknot all this time, but to go and do a totally separate project, I mean, you didn't do any writing with Three Inches of Blood, right? Or yeah, you? a lot. Oh, okay. So you went in and you kind of stamped the project and produced it? Yeah. So it was a really similar process then to the oh, exactly. you've been doing. Yeah. yeah, totally. Is it something where you would feel comfortable going in with a new band that already had all the material down? Absolutely. Um, what I do is... I'll just listen until I hear something that, you know, strikes me and or I, I hear, like, a new part and then I just sit the guys down because I'm like, I just, you know, like, I don't get offended if they, you know, but the thing is, I always speak my mind no matter what. And the thing is, with Three Inches of Blood, how we produce that, you know, we all sat down, I'm just, I'm like, just play, I'm like, I know everyone's a little tense and stuff and I'm just like, I hate this part too, but it's going to get fun really easy. I'm like, just, well, I'll just stand there, like, stand in the middle of the room. I don't sit in the control. I stand in the room with them, and any time like I hear something, I just put my hand up and then stop, and then we'll sit and work on the arrangement. Sometimes I'll have a guitar riff or a key change or stuff like that, and then we'll just start going from there. Eventually, it just got to it just it was just real fun. We're just writing songs together, so it was fun. What was it like working with Al Jorgensen? Amazing, and actually, I'm working with him again in uh, in the fall. So he, he did this. Actually, not the fall, uh, early, early next year. Yep. Okay. Because it's inverted also the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm confusing all the I things. can't keep track of your schedule. I don't know how you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just talked to Al the other day, and we're going to do something. Uh, I'm not sure if he's, he's got a name for the project, or it's just going to be a solo record, but it's going to be the fastest thing he's ever done, and it probably actually pushed me a little bit more, so it's going to be interesting. So it's not going to be a ministry project? Be like a it, it, it or might or turn into that. Okay. I, I don't know. We're just we're just going to write, and it's coming out on Thirteenth Planet. But that would be next year. So when you work with uh, Al, is it different than working with anyone else? Yeah, everyone's he, different. I mean, Al just amazes me. Oh, he's a genius. I mean, he's a poor father in industrial, in my opinion. I mean, there's older, other bands about that, but he really took it to a new level. And uh, he's just he's an amazing character. You know, if, if I could, you know. Does he still drink two bottles of cheap red wine before a show? Actually, he quit. Did he? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's been sober for a while. Is it, like, a big difference musically? Do you notice? Like, no. Yeah, some people are like, no junk, no soul. I think he was just so used to it, it just didn't face him anymore. <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's a living cockroach, so that's what that's my nickname. He's up there with Keith, Keith Richards for me. Exactly. Yeah. He's, the, yeah, he's, the, he's the metal Keith Richards for sure. Yeah. And he always calls me, you know, him and Angie. Uh, you know, his wife, they always call me Joey Jorgensen. <laughs> they may be a, a dog tag in case it says they found and call their number. Aww. Yeah. They should totally, actually, that would be kind of cool to change that in the credits on the album. Oh, yeah, Joey Jorgensen. Yeah, they call me their son. It's weird. So you've actually already got the next year pretty much planned out? You go through Murder Dolls and then... Yeah, now. well, I, I got the rest of this, the Mayhem Tour with Zombie, then I got... Ozfest, a couple Ozfests, and uh, some solo shows over in Europe. Come back, and then the fall is going to be Murder Dolls, Alice Cooper, Rob Zombie for uh, like the fall run of Gruesome. Well, it's not the Gruesome Two, some tour now since the Murder Dolls. So I'm playing two shows uh, during the fall. Then after that, November Murder Dolls Europe. Then I think I'm not totally sure there might be some zombie stuff in December. Then after that, Murder Dolls all next year. Besides the uh, studio stuff with Al. And then we'll see where I'm at at that point. Is it weird for you to have, like, the next year and a half of your life just mapped? I mean, obviously no. mapped with great stuff. Well, sometimes it's a little weird. Sometimes I sit back and I'm like, man, have I completely lost my mind? I mean, like, all the way. And like, sometimes I'm like, I might have. But it's all I know. I mean, that's what I was put here for, so. What's a good moment that kind of brings you back to, this is why I do this? Um, probably seeing... I see Kiss in '83. Would be probably the first one my uncle took me. So that would be one of the one of the main ones. And, and but I was already playing. I've been playing music since I was age five. How many different instruments do you play? Um, fluently four. Do you like to pick up stuff? 
up and yeah. see where it goes. Yeah. I'm going to try something new sometime soon. I might try the violin. I hear that's tough. Yeah, I hear it's really tough, so it's a challenge. The Bay Area's Rock Station. 1077 The Bone. The Bay Area's Rock Station, 1077.